Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. This channel, Everyday Science, is all about trying to learn various concepts of everyday science by practicing a lot of questions. This video is in continuation of the series where we are trying to learn Python by solving interview questions from fan companies like Facebook, Amazon, Apple, Netflix, and Google. If you are preparing for any of these roles, this series is for you. So yeah, let's jump right in. In this video, we are going to solve this question on Strata Scratch regarding finding the date with the highest opening stock price. This question has been asked in Apple and Forbes interview and it's a great question if you are preparing for data engineer, data scientist, BI analyst, data analyst or ML engineer roles. Okay, let's look at what the question has to say. We need to find the date when the Apple's opening stock price reached its maximum. So we are given a data frame called Apple historical stock price and output is also a pandas data frame with one column and one row which is basically the date when the Apple's opening stock price was maximum. So let's preview this data frame. So he, it has a lot of different columns called date, year, month, open, high, low, close, volume, ID, right? So in this particular column, we need to find when did it peaked out, right? Now, before moving in, we need to also look at the data types of these various columns. So even though here you see that this is a date, but actually it is a date time. And we have learned in this series that whenever we are working with date time data types, it is very good to import the date time library. So date time as DT. Then what we can do is firstly, let's convert all these date time into only dates because in our output, we only need the date. So if I go ahead and run this, right? So if you look at it, so this is a date time, but we do not need this as date time. We only need the date part. So what we can do is let's because the name of this data frame is so long let's you know simplify it let's write that okay df is equal to this and let's just copy this in the data frame called df so that it's you know our code will look cleaner just because of that we are doing this so df is equal to apple historical stock price then we can replace this date column what we can do is we can say that okay take the date column and then use the date time library and the method that we have learned to you know convert date times in the format that we want that is strf time and then we need it only in the format of year month and day and then once you convert this you just replace the initial date column so df date is equal to this okay so now if i go ahead and do df dot head let's look at whether the date column was changed from this to just dates so if i run this so now you can see right so this date is converted now once we have this then what we can do is we can go ahead and find out the maximum value in the open column so what we can do is we can create a variable called max open which is basically going to do that okay df take the open column and find out the max value and then what we can do is we are only required to return the date on which the maximum value happened so we can perform a boolean indexing and say that take the open column from the data frame and what you do is you equate it with the maximum open value and on that particular day so if I go ahead and run this, let's see what do we get in our output. So there is one particular day, 21st of September 2012, where the open stock price was the highest. Now what we need is in our output, we only need the date part. So and but the output is a data frame. So if you just, you know, write a single name of the column that you want, it will return a series. If I go ahead and run this, right? So this is a series, right? It says index 66 date this how can you know the type of this so if i just go ahead and do this you know this is just for demonstration purposes but if you can you know run this here it will say that this is a core series but we need a pandas data frame so how can we tackle this just you know I'll wrap this entire thing so basically this is the list of column that we want in our output and we just wrap it into another brackets and then if i go ahead this is a pandas data frame if i just you know just to double check what is the type of this i can go ahead and run this again and let's see so this is a core pandas data frame okay now i think this looks good let me go ahead and 
Sun submit it to see if it passes all the test cases. So everything is green and this is how to do it. So not a very difficult question. All we did was firstly, since the name of the column was very big, we just copied it into a shorter named version called DF. Then we replaced the date column by converting the date time into simply dates. And then we found out what is the maximum opening value for Apple. And then we kept only those rows where the open was equal to the maximum value. And we kept the date column only as a pandas data frame. So yeah, this is how we do it. Let me know if there is a better way or more efficient way to solve this question. Let the solution be in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys in the next video.